Dobar dan, ja se zovem Katarina. Bilje mi je lijepo biti tu na severnom krugu držiti govor na TEDx The Benjamin School. Growing up, I learned two languages, English and Croatian. My dad is from Croatia and spoke Croatian to me, so I would learn the language and be able to communicate better with my family on his side. People often think that our first language or the language we know best is the most important. When we get mad, dream, think, or are in danger, our subconscious takes control. The language that you learn first or feel more comfortable in, the language that your subconscious will revert to. I like to think of this language as the language of our heart and soul. But I have two languages of my heart and soul. Let me explain. Because I grew up simultaneously and equally exposed to both Croatian and English, I don't have a first language. Or rather, I have two first languages. One time, I talked in my sleep, and my cousin woke me up and told me I was mumbling something in a mixture of Croatian and English. When my subconscious takes control, when I get really mad, it's anyone's guess whether what I say will come out in Croatian or English. Seriously? In school, we studied the novel To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, in which the African-American character Calpurnia, who is the maid and caretaker for the white French family, speaks two languages. But unlike me, both her languages are forms of English, the African-American English and the dominant American English. Calpurnia, Calpurnia, taught by her employers, knows how to speak the dominant American English and use what we usually refer to as good grammar. She can read and write well. When she gets mad, however, she reverts back to her first language. One day, Scout, the little girl Calpurnia takes care of, does something wrong. Calpurnia, furious, yells at Scout in African American English. The only other time that the character Scout witnesses and is surprised by Calpurnia changing to her first language, is when Calpur Calpurnia takes Scout to an all-black church. Scout and her brother Jem ask Calpurnia why she's speaking the wrong way. Calpurnia chooses language based on setting. Sometimes she uses the wrong language in the wrong place, like when she yells at Scout in the home of the Finches. Calpurnia was taught that her first language, African American English, was incorrect. This really leads to the TED Talk, Three Ways to Speak English, by Dr. Jamila Liscott. Dr. Liscott discusses how she speaks three different versions of the English language, one for home, Caribbean American, one for school, the language of academia, and one for friends, the language of Crown Heights, Brooklyn, her neighborhood. Like me, Dr. Liscott learned all of her languages at once because she grew up speaking all three. So therefore, like me, she does not have a first, second, nor third language so not one is closer to her heart than another. Dr. Liska explains how it is important to treat all your languages equally and not think of one as a first or one as a second. I differ from Calpurnia that she was taught that our first language was incorrect and that the language she should speak, the correct language, is American English. By speaking in proper English, Calpurnia can't truly speak from her heart. I am like Dr. Liska, and all my uses of language are equally important to me. Whether I'm speaking English, Croatian, the colloquial English I use with my friends, or the academic language I use in class, not one of these languages solely defines me. I'm a product of all these languages combined. So I'd like to conclude by saying, Vala vam puno i budite ponosni na vasim jezike. Thank you.